uh, Ben C. Marcus, my brother, approached me uh, a couple of months ago about uh, taking part in this project. I sent me the song. It was something that I was able to very strongly connect to and was, uh, I was very excited to get involved. It kind of gives people like a behind the scenes look into uh, Shuliach's, uh, you know, psyche. And it's not just all the, uh, you know, glitz and glamour. It's tr it comes with tremendous hard work. It gives a, a new appreciation for, you know, for what Shluchim do. And it should be an encouragement, you know, almost like an anthem. For the, this is the Shuliach anthem that uh, give them that extra dose of uh, encouragement. So stand alone, How Israel's wealth you devour Yet you don't stand by them in their most troubled hour The story of Miriam Bas Bilga is a story that's told in the Gemara and we understand it a certain way. Comes along the Deba and says, wait a second. The Gemara is actually trying to tell you that even a girl like Miriam Bas Bilga, she was married to the arch enemy of the Jewish people. And yet, when the Beis Amikdash was, was being d destroyed, she cries out to the why are you not doing something about this? Time had come now to enter heaven's gate. The says you have a Jewish soul, a Jewish neshama that's waiting for 2,000 years for somebody to say something nice about her. There was one who had only words of love for 2,000 years. I think it's the, the, the basic ultimate fulfillment of, of Chabad musicians is to take the Rebbe's messages and try to spread them out through music. One Hebrew song, it's called Shisha Yamim, and um, it's about the Six Day War. The Rebbe was almost a lone voice saying that there will be great miracles. It was then that the Rebbe launched the Tefillin campaign in 1967, saying that the Tefillin will evoke the fear of the nations. And I, I felt a, a push to put that song together because this is the 50th anniversary of the Six Day War and of the Tillon campaign. It's been incredibly humbling to um, and a privilege to work with Yossi Green is the most prolific um, Jewish composer in the world. I think he's composed over 700 songs. He called me up and he said to me that uh, he'd like to get together with me because he'd like to uh, like me to write melodies using lyrics that he that he's writing, which has to do with his relationship with the way he relates to his Rebbe. In your eyes I see reflections of the world you help me see. And I still can feel your presence guiding me. Very, very emotional, emotional uh, idea which represented the last time the Rebbe waved goodbye. It's hard to, it's hard to describe the, the, the love of a chassid to his Rebbe and he gets and he realizes that that wave was the last wave. The last time. To be able to have Ellie Marcus and, and Benny Friedman sing and having Bensi Marcus um, you know, bring all of his incredible talent into the production and, and, and the arrangement. They are the voices of a new generation of, of Jewish singers. If the public can understand the connection of a chassid to his rebbe, I think it would be incredible. Because this is what's so touching to me. This is, this is a relationship that Many even in the world don't know it exists, don't know it such a thing even exists. There's something there for everyone to, to gain and to be touched um, in a deep way. If one Jew is, is, uh, is inspired by it and multiply that by thousands and thousands and thousands, 
this is uh, this is what it's all about. You're the army and